Jehovah, the true God, is lifted up high above the earth, elevated in power and magnificence. He is the only real God and the only true Saviour who can save human beings from their own self-destruction. We bow before him and we thank him for putting his Son in power over the earth as the new King. Jehovah is the God of love. His Son, Jesus, is the Prince of Peace. In imitation of them, the Jehovites of Empire of Jehovah want to recommend their love to the people uh, and encourage them to become part of the new kingdom of everlasting peace. The world today is not heading for peace. The hatred of people is increasing and arguments around the world are a constant threat of potential war. Pride and selfishness are qualities that are promoted more than love and kindness. Mankind is going in the wrong direction and only those who are willing to turn back to God will survive the last great war that is about to begin. The people of this world are now dividing into two camps. One camp is on the side of Jehovah God and Jesus Christ the King. The other camp is made up of those who refuse to love and obey the God who created all things and gave them their lives. That camp is being led by Satan and the demons who were thrown down to earth in 1914. They are promoting self-love and pride to turn their human children into opposers of the God of love. The wicked spirits use flattering language and ideology to seduce people and make them strive for the things he wants them to do. He gets his representatives to associate sins against God as a type of freedom. And he offers his children a new identity that can help them feel special and part of a united group. He also uses fear and intimidation to silence people who do not agree with the sinful lifestyles he promotes. Satan also likes to insult and mock Jehovah by getting humans to do things that offend him. Sometimes the people don't even know something offends Jehovah, but Satan gets a type of enjoyment from seeing the people do something that he wants them to do. For example, many people do not realize that the star they put on top of their Christmas tree represents the star that guided King Herod to the baby Jesus so that he could kill him. The enemy of Jehovah, who wanted to kill the child who later became Jehovah's selected king, has directed his children to put him on top of their idolatrous tree, just as the serpent in the Garden of Eden tempted the first humans from a tree. He can now laugh as Jehovah looks on and sees so many people putting Satan in an elevated position in their homes and presenting gifts before him. <clears throat> Another example is the use of the cross by many who claim to follow Jesus. The word in the Bible means a pole or a stake, but because the so-called Christians mixed many pagan religious beliefs and practices into their religion, they also started worshipping the idolatrous tea of the god Tammuz. This false god from ancient Babylon was worshipped by those pagans by their carving of a wooden T to represent the first letter of his name. They worshipped this T but did not worship the true god Jehovah who gave them everything that they had. This was an insult to Jehovah and offended him. So even if some so-called Christians today do not know the real meaning of the cross, Satan enjoys seeing them worship it. Homosexuals are people who practice an activity that is offensive to Jehovah their creator. 
This is what Romans chapter 1 verses 26 to 27 says. God gave them up to disgraceful sexual appetites because both their females changed the natural use of themselves into one contrary to nature. And likewise, even the males left the natural use of the female and became violently inflamed in their lust toward one another, males with males working what is obscene. Jehovah here describes homosexuality with two adjectives, disgraceful and obscene. And so Satan enjoys seeing human beings doing those things. In order to encourage more and more homosexuality, Satan has made homosexuals a kind of protected category of person. While heterosexuality is being demonized, homosexuality is being given a protected status by governments, courts and the police. He has created a movement of pride that gives homosexuals an ideology and an identity. Even though some homosexuals may not even know why they hiss like a snake, Satan can now laugh at Jehovah and say, look, I've got them hissing just like me. Revelation chapter 12 verse 9 says, down the great dragon was hurled, the original serpent, the one called devil and Satan, who is misleading the entire inhabited earth. He was hurled down to the earth and his angels were hurled down with him. Satan first misled humans by transforming himself into a snake that could talk. And since 1914, there has been a dramatic increase of people deliberately hissing with a homosexual lisp. There has also been an increase of people tattooing themselves with pictures of snakes and dragons. While Satan's representatives accuse anyone who disagrees with homosexuality of being homophobic, that is, having an irrational fear of homosexuals, the truth is that those who disagree with homosexuals or homosexuality are in fact very strong and courageous because they are not afraid to disagree with them and refuse to give in to fear. It is in fact the governments and the civil rights groups that are trying to make us homophobic. They will try to label us as extremist or hate stirrers so that they can intimidate us with threats of punishment or in some cases even violence. Sheovites refuse to be homophobic. We will not fear Satan or his children and we will not be intimidated into staying silent about how Jehovah the Creator feels about the filthy and disgusting ways of homosexuals. Satan's world has made it a crime in some places to hate what is bad. Psalm 97 verse 10 says, O oh, you lovers of Jehovah, hate what is bad. We are commanded by the true God Jehovah to hate what is bad. Satan may have made it a crime to hate the personification of him, but we will not give in to fear and intimidation. By making it a crime to speak against homosexuality, the world has legitimized hatred of us. They will now feel legally and justifiably correct to persecute and hate us because they can label us as criminals for our viewpoints. But Jehovah's people have always been hated by this world. We have to be prepared for that, and we must never cower before it. Jehovites know that this world, as it continues to get worse, heterosexuals will continue to be treated with more and more contempt, whereas homosexuals will continue to be celebrated as something worthy of pride. The people of this world will continue to increase their self-love and pride and their genuine love of others will continue to diminish. As they continue to get more and more depraved and disgusting, they will also use intimidation and try to pressure us to support them and participate in their celebrations and protests. They may accuse us of homophobia or being disrespectful 
or they may use their speech about equality to make us seem evil. Or they may try to paint us as miserable and not as happy as them. They may use the radiance of joy to attract people. We know what Satan is doing. We will not give in. Jehovites will not be pressured to express any kind of support for homosexuals or say or do anything that expresses approval or acceptance of their lifestyle, ideology or personification. But we will continue to encourage them to accept Jehovah's commands and make changes so that they can get salvation and life from Jehovah, the God of love. The division of mankind into two opposing camps is becoming more and more clear. Those two camps will be on different sides during the Great War of Armageddon. Only those who are on Jehovah's side will survive. Anyone who wants to be in the middle will not really be truthfully on Jehovah's side and will not survive. Jehovites of Empire of Jehovah fear Jehovah God. Only he has the power to destroy and the power to save. We stand on his side of the battle line. We bow before him. We worship him. And we stand ready to act in the service of our royal king, Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. 